Hey guys, this is Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome water rocket. Now this rocket has a couple cool things about it. I'm going to be putting a mini camera to go up in the rocket. So we are going to be building a rocket that can carry a payload, and then we also want the payload to get down safely. So I'm going to be putting a parachute in the rocket to keep the payload safe. First we're going to build the launch pad. For the launch pad we're going to need half inch PVC pipe. We're going to go ahead and cut the PVC pipe into a bunch of smaller pieces and here are all the pieces we're going to end up needing. Now we can go ahead and start building the launch pad. We want to make sure to dry fit it first so we know that everything fits and then after we dry fit it we can go ahead and apply PVC glue onto the pieces to make it permanent. Once all the parts have been glued together, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it. Now here is our finished product. I'm going to get an inner tube, and all we want from the inner tube is the valve. We're going to be using this valve to basically pump up the rocket and we're going to be pumping the rocket through the launch pad that we just created. The valve is perfect for us because it lets air in one way and hooks to a bicycle pump. I'm going to drill a hole in this end piece, and then I'm going to use two-part epoxy to glue the valve in. Next we need something for the rocket to slide over. For this I'm going to use a wine cork. I'm going to put a hole in the center of the wine cork and then I'm going to attach a pipe through it. Now you can use any sort of tube or pipe to go through the middle of the cork. The purpose of this here is simply so that water does not flow back into the launch pad. The way this is going to work is as pressure is built up by pumping air into it, eventually the pressure will become big enough that the rocket will slip off of the wine cork and then the rocket will shoot up into the air. Now it's time to build the rocket. We'll start off by attaching a sheet of paper around this for aesthetic purposes. Then we're going to attach a fin onto the rockets to make sure it flies straight. Now you want the fins to be mounted as low as possible on the rocket. Basically the closer the fins are to the point of thrust, the, the straighter the rocket will fly. We're going to get a second bottle now and cut the top off of it and then we'll eventually mount that on top of the first bottle. Now we're going to design something to carry our payload. For this I'm going to use this foam board. Using foam board and sponge, I'm going to make a compartment to hold the mini camera that I'm going to be sending up on the rocket. Now we can go ahead and mount the payload on the front of the rocket. And then we'll tape it shut. 
Now I'm going to put some paper around this part for aesthetic purposes as well. This is completely optional, but if you do do it, make sure you take note of which side the camera is facing so you can put a hole in the paper so that the camera can see out of the bottle. Next I'm going to wrap a thin piece of foam around the top of the rocket. This is basically where the nose cone of the rocket is going to sit. Now we want the nose cone just to sit lightly on top of the styrofoam ring so that when the rocket starts to lose speed and fall over, the nose cone will fall off and the parachute will come out. For the parachute you can use any type of plastic bag. I'm going to go with a garbage bag and I'm going to cut off a handful of it. We're going to spread it out and then we're going to fold it over a few times. Shall we begin? Now once it's folded over, we're just going to cut the edge of it so that we get a nice clean edge. This is going to make sure the parachute is completely symmetrical. And then we can go ahead and hole punch it once, and then when we unfold it, all our holes will be spaced equally. Now in each of the holes we hole punched, we can go ahead and start tying strings in each of them. Once they're all connected, we'll tie one more string in the middle, and then wrap up the parachute. Now observe the way I wrap it. We don't want to wrap it too tight because we want to make sure that when the nose cone falls off, the parachute can easily unwrap and catch air. And then after that, we can just secure the string from the parachute to the top of the rocket. Now we can tie the nose cone onto the body of the rocket so that the nose cone doesn't get lost when it falls off. And now we can get ready to test it out. We'll fill it up with one small water bottle full of water and then we can attach it onto the base. Put the nose cone on loosely on top of the rocket and then we can start pumping it out to try it out. As you can see it goes up nice and high and then the parachute comes out. Now let's see from the perspective of the rocket. Repeat, this is not a drill. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. If you like it, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.